Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. Let's get into the readings. This is going to be the monthly reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations or spell work, as you guys know, we are finally at the busiest season of the year, so make sure to get that um, checked out if you guys are interested in readings, because we are going to be booking rather quickly. All right, let's get into it. What are the messages here that we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please guide us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely. Allow me to see here, Sun, Seal, and receive the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For this month of October 2022, give me four cards to represent earth, air, fire, water, elements. Oh, and we have the first card that came out. Beautiful energy. Six of Wands, Scorpio. Feeling victorious. Feeling like you are achieving and smashing the goals that you have set out. A lot of you guys are finally being able to see the rewards. I see that this month of October is going to bring to you a lot of accolades, a lot of respect and admiration for some of you guys taking it to the next level in your finances or in your career. Uh, definitely dominating the competition here. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. All right, here we go. Now, in regards to the element of air, we have the King of Cups. This is your energy, Scorpio. I see you guys very, very much dominating. Uh, you guys are definitely standing in your power, uh, especially those of you guys that have set out for goals in regards to your career life. Uh, there's going to be a twist of event that's going to unfold, that is going to put you center stage, uh, where you're going to uh, really stand out, but more than stand out, it's like people are really respecting and admiring you. Uh, now is the time if you guys have been uh, wanting to get that higher position or wanting to get that raise or wanting a better schedule, whatever the situation is, now is the time to ask for it because it's definitely being given to you. Like I said, this is definitely you standing in your power. You're very well received and you are communicating beautifully this month. Now, in regards to the element of fire here, the challenge for this month is the the Knight of Cups. So try the best you can uh, to stay in your power, Scorpio. Um, when I say that, I mean, don't this month, particularly this month, it is not about doing favors. It's not about worrying if you're being liked because you're definitely being liked, but understand and know that everyone wants to see you do good, but they don't want to see you do better, especially in the workplace, okay? So what does this mean? This means don't do any favors. This means if people are acting a little bit weird or a little bit off, don't pay no mind to that. It's petty type of energy. And like I said, it's because everyone wants to see you do good, but they don't want to see you do better. And I definitely see you guys doing much better this month, Scorpio. So like I said, try the best you can not to allow people to try to manipulate you through friendships, connections, anything like that. Um, stay in your course of route, you know, stay focused, stay motivated because you're definitely going to be seeing a lot of results for this month. Results that perhaps you haven't experienced up until uh, this whole year, up until now, you're really being able to see the results of your hard work, of your determination. And like I said, I do see that there are people looking at you or wanting to ask for advice, wanting to ask for favors at work. Um, and again, like I said, stay in, on your course. Don't do not do any favors this month um, because you really want to tap into uh, this dominant energy here with the Six of Wands, which speaks about being not only victorious, but being very well respected, being liked. Um, but also with the Six of Wands, it could also indicate other people looking at you, right? and wanting to get some pointers from you, etc., which is fine, but try to keep an arm's length. Um, you don't want people feeling entitled or feeling like, oh, well, you're my friend. Uh, can you cover for me? Can you do this? Can you do that? No. This month is about looking out for yourself. Even if you're being a little bit selfish, that is okay because you're taking full advantage of these opportunities that are coming your way that you've earned, Scorpio, okay? 
Now, in regards to your emotions with the element of water, you have the world card. You guys are really, really smashing this month, Scorpio. A lot of manifestations of what you've been wanting to draw into your life, what you've been hoping and wanting to make happen is finally, it's like the planets are in perfect alignment to assist you and to bring to you those results. The world card is exactly that. It is being able to see uh, the results of everything that you've been doing up until now. It is being able to take it to the next level. With the six of wands, this also indicates a different type of attention, a different type of reputation. This is power. This is standing in your own. This is being admired. This is being respected. This is um, really people noticing the effort and the hard work that you've been putting, which you've been doing. It's like I see a lot of high superiors, a lot of management energy really focused on you because they're seeing the potential in you. So again, really take advantage of that because this month is definitely going to push you and propel you um, to a much higher status. So beautiful energy here. What is the final message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? The final message for Scorpio in regards to the situation, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, and we have walking away. Oh, accidentally pulled two cards. All right, we're going to take them. We have walking away and door to personal healing and happiness. So it's number 27 and 34. So for a lot of you guys, the world indicates that. Closing a cycle, a cycle where uh, you're more aware of the energies around you. It's like I said, people feeling entitled. They're feeling like you have to do them favors. No, you don't. And it's okay to say no. Door to personal healing and happiness. You're basically seeing the manifestations of what you've been really working hard towards achieving Scorpio. This is definitely your month. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope this gives you guidance and we will see each other soon. Until then, bye-bye.